the sound vocabulary that sounds from the planet lexicon. Watch her villains, here she comes. Faced with a catastrophe, we need the living dictionary. Her superior intellect keeps the prime world in check. Go, girl! Hockey faces by her side, vocabulary a mile wide. She'll make sure that crime will pay to throw some mighty words your way. Word up, it's word girl. Word up, from the planet lexicon. Watch out, villains. Here she comes. Word girl. Today's featured words are imposter and untangle. Amazing rope guy. <laughs> Not that amazing, is he? In fact, he's the least successful villain in the city. He always gets caught by word girl, the police, sometimes even by his own rope. Well, I guess that's why he's in prison. <laughs> I'm word girl. Untangle that security guard at once. <laughs> I have a monkey named Captain Honeypaste or something. Word up! Did I mention he also does impressions? Do another one. Oh, do the warden. That's easy. <clears throat> this prison's the best for housing perps, hands down. I guarantee it, or I'll eat my hat! <laughs> That's amazing, Rope Guy. You sound just like the warden. Well, fun's over. Time to get back to work. <laughs> I love that. Hmm. <laughs> Just like the warden, huh? Okay, it's time to let Amazing Rope Guy out of prison. Better do it fast, or I'll eat my hat. Huh. I can't see the warden, but he does say that. <laughs> All right. Have a nice day, I guess. Thank you. I mean, thank you. Well, that was weird. I hate to admit it, but breaking out of prison was actually the first successful crime I've committed. But I did it all by pretending to be someone else. Maybe being an imposter can help me commit other crimes. Um, are you talking to the rope? Maybe. I love meat. Good morning. I'm the butcher, not an imposter. Now give me that spiny jewel. You do mean shiny jewel? Yeah, I mess up words. Because I'm the butcher, that's a thing I do. So give me that spiny jewel before I throw meat products and things. Right, that won't be necessary. Here. All right, thanks. While Amazing Rope Guy cashes in on his skills as an imposter, Becky Botsford, a.k.a. Word Girl, is at home, working on getting her Fair City Scouts knot-tying patch. I'm trying to perfect the Pegasus, the strongest of all knots. But first, I have to untangle this rope. It's Celebrity Ski Ball! We interrupt Celebrity Ski Ball to bring you a special news alert. Local villain, the Butcher, committed a sensational crime today, stealing a priceless gem from ye old fancy schmancy jewelry shop. <gasps> oh, no! Store owner Reginald says he handed over the jewel because he was, quote, afraid, even though the Butcher didn't actually throw any meat. This happens to be a new suit tailored in London. I can't have it covered in loin chops. Will someone please untie me? Yeah, it is a little unusual for the butcher to tie someone up instead of just covering him in meat products. Well, we better go find him. What an amazing crime. Yes, that butcher is a legendary villain. Come on, say something about Amazing Rope Guy. He sure is. The butcher. Just the butcher. <laughs> hey, work girl, what a surprise. I'm sure it is. Butcher. Yeah, it's been a while. How have you been? Well, you know, ups and downs, ins and outs. There's this fair... Well, hey, take a seat. Stay for dinner. Tell me all about it. Mm, it does smell good. Oh, wait, no. I'm taking you in for robbing Reginald's jewelry store. What? I didn't do that. He saw you. Now let's go. Oh, you must have seen somebody else, because it really wasn't me this time. It must have been an antipasto. Huh? You know, an antipasto. Oh, you mean an imposter? Someone who's pretending to be someone else. In this case, pretending to be you. Yeah, one of those. That's right. Nice try, but I don't think so. Okay. 
I guess we have to battle. But I just want to go on record as saying that I do not feel good about it, since I really didn't do any crime. So... Take it back, Pile Drive! Wow. He really likes meat pies, huh? Let's hurry up and get you to jail, Butcher. I have some rope to untangle. It is I, Chuck the guy who looks like a sandwich. You fear me. Now give me all your money so I can buy lots of, oh, I don't know, mayonnaise, I suppose, maybe some pickles. Uh, question, uh, wouldn't it make more sense for you to just steal a bunch of sandwiches? That's kind of what we do here. Nah, just give me some cash. I don't really like sandwiches. I mean, I love them. I love sandwiches. Sandwiches are best, sure. Right. Into the cave. I think I might have... We interrupt the celebrity <gasps> ski ball final round to bring you a report of another incredible robbery. This time, Chuck the evil sandwich making guy was seen by several witnesses robbing the city sub shop. I gave him the money and I offered him sandwiches too. You know, as sort of a bonus for a crime well done. But he said he didn't really like sandwiches. Then he tied a rope around all the money we had and we left. Well, that's pretty strange. Why would Chuck say he doesn't like sandwiches? <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's go get him. I don't know. It might be hard to find Chuck the Evil Sandwich Making Guy since I don't even know where he... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, hey, word girl. Aha, to you too. Am I missing something? Why aren't you trying to get away? Why would I do that? I don't know. Maybe because you robbed the sub shop and now I'm here to arrest you and I'd really like to make this quick so I can get back to trying to figure out my Pegasus knot because it's really, really tricky. But I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't rob any sub shop. Not today, anyway. <laughs> oh, please. Everyone there saw you. You even told them your name. <laughs> It, it must have been an imposter. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Just today, in fact. That's weird. Well, time to go to jail. More like time to go to stale. What? Stale bread. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna put on you after I cover you and catch you. Oh. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh. There's no way anyone could eat that much ketchup. <laughs> you don't know Captain Huggy Face. Now let's go. What a daring crime. Another amazing robbery from a star villain. <sighs> Why am I not happy? Later on, unaware that she's placed the wrong villains in jail, Becky Botsford is back to tying knots, and it looks like she... Yes! yes! Finally! The Pegasus knot! Ah, oh, that was really tough. Man, never thought I'd entangle the rope and get the knot tied. <laughs> I'll tell you. Yeah, it is weird that both the Butcher and Chuck said that an imposter pretending to be them committed those crimes. Neither one of them seemed like they had just robbed a place. And then there's that whole rope connection. Pretty strange. <gasps> Bob! I think I just untangled this whole situation! <laughs> oh, well, untangle can mean when you get twists and knots out of a rope, but untangle can also mean to clear up a confusing situation. In this case, I figured out that there is an imposter pretending to be other villains. We have to go find Amazing Rope Guy. <laughs> I am a robot controlled by the evil boy villain, Toby. <gasps> I love Toby. He's such a good villain. He's not that great. Sure he is. One of my heroes, in fact. Have you heard of Amazing Rope Guy? He's good, too. Yeah, I don't really care for him. Well, he, I mean, I committed two crimes already today, and I got away scot-free. I'm sick of other villains getting credit for my crimes. So what do you think of Amazing Rope Guy now? Hey, Rope Dude, um, can you, like, not tell anyone I was robbed by you? That's kind of embarrassing. Don't worry, he won't.
won't be telling anyone. You're under arrest. I'm under arrest. More like you're under... You're under my amazing... You're under my amazing robes that I will throw... I'm throwing at you to... You know what I mean. <laughs> I got someone! I got someone! I got someone! I got... Is, it, is everyone seeing this? Oh. oh, darn. And you won't be getting out, either. I use the Pegasus, the strongest knot in, in the... the world! Yeah, I know. I've heard of it. My whole thing's ropes, remember? Now, if you'll excuse me, I owe apologies to a couple of innocent villains. <laughs> I guess I didn't have anything better to do. As well as well. <laughs> you know, I gotta spend enough time in prison for my own crimes. Actually, don't put him in prison. Just let him go, or I'll eat my hat. Well, okay, if you say so. Hey, let's go. Come on. Back to jail. And so, after untangling a tough case, Word Girl ends Amazing Rope Guy's short career as an imposter. And she got that fair city scout patch, too! So everything worked out great! For the good guys. <laughs> Join us next time for another amazing, colossal adventure of Amazing Rope Guy! What? No! A uh, colossal adventure of Amazing Rope Guy! Guy, the greatest villain that ever lived. That's an imposter, not me. Join us next time for another amazing colossal adventure of Word Girl. Word Girl. Hello, I'm Bo Handsome, and this is. May I have a word? As usual, the player who correctly defines today's featured word will win a fabulous prize. Let's play. May I have a word? Yes, you may. Today's featured word is snare. To give you a clue, here are some clips from Word Girl that show the meaning of the word. Tommy! A snare is a net-like bag that women in the 1940s wore to keep their hair back. Uh, no, I think you're confusing the word snood with the word snare. And how do you know about snoods? My interests are many. Uh-huh. Anyone else? Is a snare like a trap with a net or a rope? That is correct, Phil. Congratulations. You are today's winner. Huggy, show him what he's won. Come on, Huggy, it can't be that bad. Well, what a coincidence! It's an official Word Girl snood! Which is a net-like bag that women wore to keep their hair back in the 1940s! What am I supposed to do with that? Maybe you could use it as a snare. You could give it to me for my extensive snood collection. That's it for today's episode. See you next time on... May I have a word? Word Girl! Psst. Listen for the words tantalizing and united. Welcome to the Channel 37 Action News at Noon. If something important happens anywhere in the city, the Action News team will show you the important thing that is happening right now. With investigative reporter Stu Brisket and anchorwoman Loretta Sanchez Johnson. And bringing you up to the minute forecasts, Teapot the Weather Monkey. This is Action News at Noon. Hello, I am not Loretta Sanchez Johnson. My name is Becky Botsford, and last week I was the winner of the news team for a day essay contest at Woodview Elementary School. Since my essay, The Importance of Vocabulary in Modern Journalism, was chosen as the winner, I get to host today's broadcast along with my friends. Our United News Team includes investigative reporter Todd Scoops Ming, Violet Heeslip with some thought-provoking commentary, mm. and filling in for Teapot the Weather Monkey, my very own pet monkey, Bob. <laughs> they said you had to wear the clown costume. It wasn't my call. And now on to tonight's top story. It is a story of epic proportions. A tantalizing story with many layers. A story of cheese. We take you live to Scoops out in the city park. 
Thank you, Becky. I'm here in the city park, standing in front of what will soon be crowned the world's largest grilled cheese sandwich. Behold, the awe-inspiring grandeur of grilling, the challenge of cheese. Ah, isn't this awesome, Becky? We are on live television. Hello! Hello in there! Gunk, 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 gunk. Uh, scoops. <laughs> Remember what we said about being professional? Oh, right. Keep a lid on the enthusiasm. Got it. <clears throat> This truly is a moving tribute to humanity's love for giant food. Scoops, who dreamed up today's world record attempt? Great question, Becky. Two people have united to work on this project. The grocery store manager and the head chef from Blue Bow Sub Shop. They're working together. Fascinating. Fascinating indeed. Apparently, one day the grocery store manager was chatting with the chef from Blue Post, and they realized they had a lot of leftover bread and cheese. What is that? So they made Camera operator, can you zoom in, please? Just a little further, closer. <gasps> um, and now it's time for a commentary from Violet Heeslip. Um, hello. <laughs> Violet, you're on. Um, oh, I'm on right now. Okay. What should I? I guess I'll, I'll start talking. I'm Violet Heeslip, and here what I think. Trees are beautiful. Come on. Chucky wants a sandwich. You almost got it. Come on. Come on. Why won't you just grab it? You almost had it. Oh, this isn't working. Hold it right there, Chuck. This is one sandwich you're not going to be stealing. You're right, word girl. I'm not. Wait, isn't this the part where you say, yes, I am, and then we have an epic Battle? Yeah, usually that would be the case, right? But I'm not gonna steal a sandwich. No, it's too big. My claw bot can't get a good grip. Bummer. I want it so badly, though. I mean, look at it. I bet it tastes delicious, and I can almost grab it. It's so tantalizing. Yeah, Chuck, uh, sorry to rush you, but I kinda got somewhere to be right now. I should head home, too. My mom's gonna need a station wagon back. Well, that was easy. Is Violet still doing her commentary? Actually, she finished a while ago. Now she's just sort of talking. Uh-oh. Word up! <laughs> hey, Becky! Thanks, Violet, for that informative perspective. And now we go back out to Scoops, live in the city park. What's happening, Scoops? So if I join the grocery store club do i get discounts on the sale price or is that just overall discount you have to read the labels uh guys oh hello breaking news just moments ago word girl stopped chuck the evil sandwich making guy from stealing the world's largest grilled cheese sandwich <gasps> you don't say i do mr grocery store manager how do you feel now that your sandwich is safe the citizens of this city are united in their appreciation of word girl we oui, oui, you my dad so there you have it where there once was a feeling of great jeopardy and danger, there is now peace in knowing that everything is safe and nothing is being stolen. Nothing at all. Not again! Camera, zoom in! Okay, and now it's time for Bob the Weather Monkey to deliver today's forecast! Bob! Ah! Well, of course I am, word girl. It's the city's largest concentration of pure melty cheese. Ooh, it's unbelievably tantalizing. Tantalizing? What? Th no, I said tantalizing. I'm baffled. Of course you are, as usual. I'll explain it later. I've got this one. If something is tantalizing, it means you want it really, really badly. But it's just out of reach. Oh, I get it. So, if my mom's meatloaf is delicious, but it's not dinner time yet, I might say it smells tantalizing. Hey, meatloaf, give me a hand here. It's very heavy. Exactly. Tantalizing. Very well done. Now hand over that fishing pole. You know what? This is hopeless. You're just giving up? We are unable to steal the sandwich due to the fact that it's too heavy to be lifted by that little fishing pole. What did we talk about, guys? The five Ps? Prior planning prevents poor performance, pals. Oh, wait, that's six. <sighs> we 
You should have brought the bigger pole. We should have brought the bigger pole, of course. Guess we'll just have to call it a day and head back to the lair. If we hurry, we can catch Antiques Roadshow. You can watch the walls of your bedroom. You're grounded. Okay, if you're not going to actually steal anything, I've got other places to be. Word! Welcome back to the city's most serious news program. <laughs> oh! oh! Careful, Bob! Welcome back to the Action News at Noon. I'm still Becky Botsford. We take you once again live to the city park where Scoops has some breaking news. Thank you, Becky. I have an important announcement for our viewers. Since Word Girl just returned to the park and thwarted Dr. Two Brains, the world's largest grilled cheese sandwich is now safe. Again, the sandwich is safe. That's a relief, Scoops. Thanks for the great reporting. Anytime. Um, Scoops, you might want to look behind you. What? Why? Oh! Uh, we'll be right back after these messages. A funny story. We ran into each other on the way back to our lairs. <laughs> and we got to talking and we realized... Thank you, Chuck. We realized we could join forces to steal the sandwich. My mouse blimp could lift Chuck's claw bot up high enough to get a good grip, huh? huh? Now that we're united, we can lift the sandwich and we're too strong for you, word girl. Huggy, initiate secret plan number 619. Uh, what's that you were saying? Do I have to do that thing all over? Okay, listen. I was saying that we're way too strong for you now that we're united. Is that so? Yeah. So once we escape with this tantalizing sandwich, we'll cut in half and share. You know what they say. Half a grilled cheese is better than no grilled cheese at all. Uh, nobody says that. You're the only they who's ever said that. My mom says that on occasion. Interesting. I wish you would tell me more. Well, then we were planning to... Wait a minute. This isn't interesting. It's tricky. She's tricking us. Hit it, Huggy. tantalizing thing. Incredible crime fighting, word girl. Can I interview you for the action news at noon? Oh! Oh, action news at noon! Um, sorry, there's a cat stuck in a rowboat somewhere. I gotta go. Wait! What do you think happened to Chuck and Dr. Two Brains? <laughs> and it looks like we're out of time. I'm Becky Botsford, and for all of us kids here at the action news at noon, good afternoon and good luck. Where were you? Beats me. Excuses are your job. Thanks a lot. I was cleaning out our garage. Man, was it cluttered. Help me get out of this. Uh, sure thing. Sure thing. And that's all the time we have. Be sure to unite with your friends and tune in next time for another tantalizing episode of Word Girl. attempt ever! You're telling me? My mom needed a station wagon back hours ago. She's gonna be so mad. Word Girl! Hello, I'm Bo Handsome, and this is the bonus round of... May I have a word? Our returning champion will have a chance to play for even greater prizes on the bonus round. Phil, you correctly defined the word 
Shepard's snare. Ready to play the bonus round? I guess so. Great! Take a look at these three pictures and tell me which one shows the definition for snare. What's your answer, Phil? Well, I know from the first round that a snare is a trap, and it looks like Word Girl trapped Chuck, so I will say number two. That's correct, which means you're our bonus round winner. Show him what he's won, Huggy. <laughs> ah! Very funny, guys. It's an official Word Girl snare. See you next time on May I Have a Word! Fighting crime with his Kung Fu Punch and enormous appetite. For lots of monkey-filled fun, watch Word Girl on PBS Kids Go. Word up. Captain Huggy Face, show us what livid means. That's right. Livid means to feel super duper angry. Congratulations, Huggy. Livid. Favorite my favorite word is orange because it's my favorite color. I mean, like, I have orange sneakers, I have orange posters at school, I have orange binders and books, I have orange shorts at my house. Like, there's just too many things. I can't even explain them all. My favorite word is harmonica because I have one and I love to play it. That's my favorite word. Want Word Girl's word power? Fly over to your local library. Cape not required. For more Word Girl adventures and word-filled fun, visit pbskidsgo.org. Word up!